the police surveillance helicopter hovering around communities along the borders of Anambra State. Its mission to locate hideouts and enclaves of Earth's men to ensure proper identification and forestore any attack or clashes with farmers in the communities. The surveillance team visit Umumbo, one of the threatened communities in Ayamelum local government area of the state. State government had earlier fortified the area with heavy security presence following rumors of attack. The commander of 302 Artillery Regiment of Onitsha Military Cantonment gives assurances by the operation is in top gear. We are trying to look around so that we can see all the different communities in the border of Anambra and Enugu, which will enable us to plan very well how we can ensure that there's no infiltration by the so-called headsmen. So I want to employ you people to remain at alert at all times. Ensure that if you see anything, any movement or any information you have that threatens the peace of the communities within these the, uh, border areas. Ensure you report immediately. Since they have not come, we have sleepless nights. But this time around, we are sleeping. I'm thanking the governor of Anambra State and also thanking the army officers who have made this thing possible to be like this. And while the state governor, Mr. Willie Obiano, and the commissioner of police have been speaking on the surveillance exercise. Uh, as we speak now, the helicopter is hovering around all our border. Koji, Inugu, down to uh, Abia State. And then it will come back and hover around the major towns. This helicopter and the personnel inside the helicopter have equipment that can pick up people committing crime on the ground. We've identified about six of them, six, six different blocks. So the many other that are residents in Anambra here will visit those, uh, their brothers, their brothers uh, in those uh, communities to make it clear uh, the resolution agreed with Anambra State Government. Basically, they are not allowed into Anambra with AK-47. And secondly, if they destroy farmland, they will pay. And if the community uh, steal their cow or kill their cow, they will pay. Apart from the area surveillance, the police has also deployed teams to survey different parts of the state both day and night to ensure that the movement of cattle by headsmen do not constitute a nuisance.